Welcome back, all you beautiful crafters. We are back here today in Inkscape. We will be going over to uh, Design Space here towards the end of the video. Um, but we're just going to mess around here. Um, you can look at this as a tutorial or just kind of both of us learning together and seeing what we can do. Uh, in the last video, we took uh, an animated Im image and created uh, an SVG. So we're going to do the same thing today, but we're going to do black and white, and we're going to take my profile picture. Uh, so we're going to go over here to File and uh, Import. And so it pulls up the pictures, and I'm just going to type in Profile. That's what my picture saved under. We're just going to click OK, and there's the picture. Don't worry, I'm not that pretty. That's just Snapchat filters. Now, I, uh, we're going to do a black and white as, um, uh, bitmap trace. Uh, so I was curious to see what this is going to do if the picture was black and white, and also what it was going to do if the black and white picture was uh, imported into Inkscape versus using a filter in Inkscape to make the picture black and white. So I went over here and I made a black and white photo outside of Inkscape. Um, and I'll show you what I did real quick. I come over here, I clicked on the picture, Let's see if I can find it real quick. There it is, okay? And you see right next to it is my black and white version. Um, so when I clicked on it, I have the option to be able to edit up here. So I come up here to filters and I just, I, um, I think I picked vanilla, I think that's what it's called. There it is, yeah. All right, so I just um, I changed the filter and then I just saved the picture. So now I have a colored and a black and white image. Um, so if you don't already know this, you can also, when you're in files, just drag and drop the image that you want into Inkscape, and it'll work just as easy as pushing import. So we're just going to click OK again, and we're going to resize this. Now I need to take this colored image and I need to make a duplication of it so I can use filters in Inkscape to uh, make this black and white in the program instead of, uh, instead of the previous one which was outside of the program. All right, I've come over here to filters and there's quite a few different options. There's a whole list right here and within each list uh, you can see arrows over here off to the side um, and within each list are several options in there as well. So it's really awesome to, to pull, into a pic, uh, pull in a picture and uh, mess with some of the filters. We're going to go right here to color and we're going to go down to grayscale and this box pops up and so that allows you to kind of modify and we're going to show preview down here and I have a live preview so that we can see if if we decide that we want to mess with some of these um, scales right here uh, I don't really feel the need to I think that it's a pretty decent black and white photo it's a little clearer than the previous one um, but it is there if it's an option that you're interested in so we're just going to push apply if it'll work. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we have our three photos, a colored, a black and white that we did before we will come into Inkscape and a black and white from Inkscape. I have right clicked and then you can scroll down through that menu and you can find your trace bitmap. You can also go up here to the top and click path and trace bitmap from there as well. So automatically it comes up as a single scan in your trace bitmap and we're going to change that to multiple scans and you see the brightness uh, right here we're going to change that to grays and we're going to do this it automatically comes in as eight scans we're going to see what it does with eight scans and then we're going to mess around just a little bit later on. All right, so there is the scan. 
All right, so there is our duplicate. We're going to click on this photo and we're going to duplicate this photo again. And I think it just duplicated the uh, the scan that we just did. So uh, duplicate the photo that we just did because we did eight scans on this one. We're going to change the scans here in just a minute to see uh, if that makes a difference with the layers that come out. So there's a duplication of that. I'm going to pull this down underneath the scan, the uh, photo that that I just scanned. That way you can kind of see. And Inkscape wants to be a little weird. There it is. All right. So if you right click on this, um, you should be able to to scroll down and click ungroup. And we're just going to ungroup these now, and you're going to be able to see the layers that come out going to back it out just a little bit so we can see a little better. We're going to do this with all the rest of the pictures now. Right click and go to trace bitmap or again with path at the top. And now because you've opened up this um, previously, uh, it already has your preferences already set in here. So we're going to change the scans down to 5, update, and then OK. Let's see if 5 traces does anything different than the 8 traces. We're going to click on the right image, and then we're going to ungroup. And then we're going to move these uh, uh, layers down to see if any of them look any better. We're going to do this with the other two photos that we have right here as well. We're going to trace bitmap. We're going to do five scans in the grays and ungroup and separate the layers and we'll be right back. Alright, now we are going to zoom in just a little bit so that we can see um, each layer of the scan. There's each layer and I will say that the, the black and white photo that was imported um, and uh, it was imported already black and white, I, I already like the scans of those much better. Now, if you see the dark sheeting, that would be the inside of my face. I think we're going to go through and we're going to get rid of all of those. They look kind of creepy, like hollow eyes, like, I don't know, I don't like the, uh, I don't like some of these. So we're going to get rid of the ugliest ones and we're going to keep some of the outlines of the nicer looking scans. that I think that we've gotten rid of all the the shading and we just have pretty much outlines um, now we're going to come up here to file and we're going to save as we're going to give it a new name and we're going to save as a plain SVG you can still save as an Inkscape but I prefer to save as a plain SVG we have 
opened up design space and we are here um, on our canvas and what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to upload and you can see right there I've already uploaded um, to when I was fidgeting around just a little bit to see how this was going to work but we're going to go over here to upload image and browse and we're going to find our new saved um, scans and we're going to either drag and drop or we're going to click and open. And there it is. All we have to do now is just name, add any tags, and then save. So being that I've already done that, I just decided I was going to go ahead and use these two. We're going to go ahead and open them up and see how they look in design space. Took it a minute to load. There it is looks pretty good I would I will say we ungrouped so I'm just gonna move it around and I'm just gonna fidget with it just a little bit um, see how I like it see how I want to use it I actually have an idea that I think that I'm going to show you guys um, so if you'll hang tight for just a few minutes uh, I'm gonna import a few more uh, pieces go back mess around in Inkscape just a little bit import uh, a couple more layers in here and um, we're, we're going to try something see how this looks I think that looks pretty good if you were to take two layers and you were to stack them and then possibly weld them that would be pretty cool to cut out in a piece of vinyl so I went back over to Inkscape I grabbed a couple more of these traces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the colors of these um, there's purple. What would get rid was purple. Oh, the pink would be really nice. I think that would be kind of kind of cute. So we keep the uh, dark black background. We're gonna add the pink, and then add the purple in there. Oh my gosh, that's too cute! I love it. I love it. This is brilliant. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. Can you imagine doing like a baby face? Or even, you know, one of your kids? Your, uh, your animal? School colors around here is black and gold. I don't know where this comes from. Let's go ahead and delete this. We don't need it. Black and gold. So we're going to do black and gold right here. Support school colors here. I uh, like that too. Now the very first one right here, the black and gold, was from the image imported into Inkscape, uh, already turning it black and white. And the image, um, the second image with the pink and the purple, uh, was an image done in Inkscape. And then when uh, we did smooth, kind of helped to take out some of the uh, extra tidbits in there. And this is what it looks like on the mat. I think if you were to do this with maybe some HTV, cardstock, even vinyl if you're willing to weed it out and possibly even get rid of some of the, the stray little extra pieces in there, I think that would look awesome. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Well, this is it, you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.